The first 1,000 days of a child's life is crucial in shaping their cognitive development, and the government is focused on establishing an infant department in every primary school to give our children the right start to achieve their potential. A new infant block built at the Brixton Hill Primary and Infant School in Mocker Clarendon is the fruit of one such fusion of good governance, philanthropy, and a voluntary spirit. The new infant block accommodates four classrooms, two student bathrooms, principal's office, sick bay, kitchen, and staff bathroom. It was sponsored and built through a collaboration that involved the Kind Hearts Foundation, Dana and Richard Stewart Foundation, and Food for the Poor. I'm actually here at the Brixton Hill Primary and now Infant School and I'm here with Jackie Nicholas Stewart from the Richard and Diana Stewart Foundation. And we're very happy they have spent over $21 million to donate to Food for the Poor this infant department for Brixton Hill Primary and now Infant School. Jackie, why did you do it? It's all about the children, it's all about growth, our children are our future and in Jamaica that's what we're trying to build. We're thinking about how do we build our prosperity, how do we make every community be stable and it's also learning for us. We enjoy being with the people, being in the community, so we get a lot of growth also. So tell me, um, I know that the Richard and Diana Stewart Foundation as well as the Stewart Automotive Group has been big on giving back and this is not the first, second, third or fourth. Tell us a little bit about some of the work that you've been doing over the years. Okay, so we partnered with Food for the Poor in 2012. So we're probably on our seventh or eighth infant school. We've also done a hospital ward in Spanish Town, Ward 7. We've also done some compassion homes with Youth for the Mission. So it's always been about the communities and we've been trying to do it island wide. actually founded by Richard and Diana Stewart's grandchildren as a way for us to give back as a family together and we focus mainly on early childhood education so we find that education especially in the early childhood is very very important um, you know for people to get out of poverty and live a better life and so it's also a way for us to give back to more than one family at a time we're giving back to an entire community it's generational change Following a needs assessment at the Brixton Hill in January 2020, stakeholders agreed to have the infant department separated from the main building in order to secure certification by the Early Childhood Commission. This labor of love had the various sponsors and donors exercising brain and brawn to complete the task in June 2024. The new facility will impact as many as 90 students each year. commitments we have made is to ensure that there is proper internet at this facility for both the students and the teachers. The school's development pathway is also being paved with extra goodwill gestures from a solar company. We are excited to do our part by donating an 8 kilowatt solar system. With the addition of this system, we hope to bring reliable, clean energy that will power classrooms, enhance learning experiences, and ensure that educational activities can continue uninterrupted. The building that was constructed is one of the focus ideas that the Ministry has to have primary schools having infant departments. We are forever grateful for your trust in the mission of the Ministry of Education and Youth. This school is more than just a building. It represents hope, opportunity, and a brighter future for our children. School principal Leon Clary is appreciative of the support. Marcus Garvey at one point in time said education is a process by which man is prepared for their own particular civilization and the advancement and glory of their own race. Now, we know that, you see, when we value early childhood education, when the foundation is laid, everything is good. Yes. 